Growing up in the South, when I became vegetarian when I was 22, there were some textures that I missed when I went vegetarian and I started to recreate some of those food memories. So we created some very Southern-based comforting dishes like the chicken and waffles. I'm Carolyn Morrison, the chef owner at Fiction Kitchen. My name is Siobhan Southern. I am the co-owner and general manager of Fiction Kitchen in Raleigh. My brother got a promotion and asked me to cater the promotion with our barbecue, the smoked Eastern style North Carolina pulled pork. He didn't tell anybody that it was a vegan product and uh, that made us really happy because we pretty much fooled everyone that was there. They thought it was the best barbecue they've ever tasted. They didn't know the difference at all. It's actually made from North Carolina soybeans. So that also reflects our commitment to local products. All of our desserts are vegan. There's a chocolate maker, chocolatier, right around the corner from us called the Deary Chocolate. They do a lot of vegan options and we get their 70% chocolate and we turn that into a nice ganache that has an almond crust. It's one of our biggest sellers. We also have a vegan trace leches, which is kind of hard to come by because trace leches usually means three milks. But here we're doing um, evaporated coconut milk, condensed coconut milk and almond milk to create that light, very moist cake. And then not to slight the cheesecakes, we always have a couple of uh, vegan cheesecakes in the, in the works too. We have a North Carolina growing season 12 months a year and so it just seemed obvious to us that we should be using as much local product as we possibly could. You can eat from your surroundings in North Carolina. You don't have to fly stuff in. My tattoo sort of related to a tattoo she has. We got married. We wanted to do a fun play on the partnership. So I got a can of Chipotle peppers. So I'm the pepper and then she's the salt. She's got the Morton Salt girl. We don't try to advertise as a vegan restaurant, even though it is, the menu is entirely vegan. What we want to do is open our doors to many and try to get as many people in as possible to sit down, have a meal, and then afterwards say, I just had my first vegan meal and I'm full, I'm satiated, I don't feel like anything's missing in my life.